Hello, my friend. Welcome to Breakfast with Sergio. In today's episode, I'm going to show you how to balance your art studio practice with your art business as well. Don't go anywhere. It's going to be awesome. Well, hello, my friend. Welcome back to Breakfast with Sergio. Super happy to be here with you. I have <laughs> here uh, two cups, which I'm going to use to illustrate today the topic, which is how to balance your art studio practice, you know, the time that you want to spend in your studio with your art of business, you know, creating content, creating, uh, you know, writing emails, everything that has to do with managing your business. And I'm going to give you three things that you need in order to achieve that balance. So first of all, my friend, um, this is kind of how we all start. You know, when I started my art career, I thought it was, this is like all the time I'm going to need to be in my studio, making amazing art. And it's going to be awesome. I'm going to love it. Well, very quickly, as soon as you become an artist, you realize that, well, there are other things that you need in order to be successful in your art career. Well, you need a website. So, okay, give a little bit of time to your website so that you can start, you know, putting your website up, uploading your images and getting it not only uh, online, but also updating it quite often. Then you realize, well, I need to have a Facebook page. Okay, so I need to give a little bit of love to my Facebook page. Then Twitter came along. Okay, then I need to put a Twitter page and do some tweets here and there. And then you realize, well, wait a minute, now Instagram is here. And you start doing Instagram. And then you watch Breakfast with Sergio, and Sergio says, well, now you got to do more reels. Okay, shoot, now I got to do more reels. And then you also need, a, a, you know, a Pinterest. Maybe you want to be on Pinterest, you put Pinterest there. Maybe you need to be on a marketplace like Sachi Art or Fine Art America or something. Then you start working for a show or with a gallery. Shoot, that needs also some time and some love. And that comes like this, right? And then all of a sudden, like, Sergio talks about NFTs and you see Sergio making NFTs. And I, hey, I want to make NFTs too, shoot. So, you know, all of a sudden, this is how it starts to look like. And then you realize, wait a minute, what am I making art? Now I have to do all these things. And making art is just taking, you know, not, it's, there's not enough time to make the art. And there's a lot of time going into running the business of being an artist, right? And then you get an opportunity, like you have a show coming up. So you gotta then drop some of those things over here. And then you feel guilty because you're spending too much time in the studio and not enough time here. And then all of a sudden you forget that, oh, should I have not sent my email newsletter this month to my art um, audience? Or, you know, you put that there. And then, so if you feel, my friend, that your art career right now looks like this, you know, like every day you go back and forth between this and that. And this is driving you crazy because when it comes to your art studio, you feel like you don't have enough time away. When it comes to your business, you feel like you're falling behind. And unfortunately, that's how the art career of many artists look like. You know, it's back and forth, back and forth. And this, of course, creates a lot of stress, it creates a lot of stress on you, on the people around you. And you just don't feel like like you are doing enough either in your studio or in your art business because of this. So, my friend, I want to help you out today. What you need, what you need is three things. And this is kind of a framework that I use, you know, for me as an artist. Uh, and as you know, I, I'm quite a busy guy too. You know, I'm an artist just like you. I have to make art in the studio. I have a gallery to take care of um, that we've been running for now 16 years or so. I have a curatorial practice that I also have to take care of, organize exhibitions, physical and also online. Um, also have my coaching program, The Artist Next Level, which takes a lot of time as well. And what else? Well, I have also, you know, my family dynamics and have to also run my own art business, right? So all these things I also have to manage. So how do I do it? Well, I look at it in this framework, which will help you out. First of all, you need clarity. You need to figure out, okay, what are all the things that I'm doing on both sides of the spectrum, on my art studio practice and on my art business? What, are, what is everything that I need to do I need to make an inventory? I need to have clarity right in front of my eyes. You know, what are the things that I have? What are the things that are, you know, happening and that I need in order to run a successful art business and a successful studio practice? So I need to have that clarity. Once I have that clarity, then you need to take control. Otherwise, this going back and forth, and as you can see, some of them are dropping is because that's a lot of times what happens, right? You drop the ball on things. You forget to send that email. You forget to make the post. You forget to make the videos, you know? So you don't have control. This 
is controlling you. So what you need to do uh, once you have clarity is that you have to take control. You have to take the shots. You have to make the shots. You are the CEO of your art career. You are the boss. You are the one who's at the top who needs to make the hard choices in order to manage this chaos, <laughs> right? Nobody else is going to come and do it for you. So you got to take control. And once you take control, then the third step, which is the last one, is what's going to alleviate this mess, is you got to create boundaries. You got to you know, find the tools that are going to help you. And then you have to create processes in order to use those tools that also honor those boundaries. And that's the three-step process that you need in order to take care of this chaos and this mess. Take control of the overwhelm that this back and forth creates. And perhaps you will discover that maybe there are some things that you don't need, you know, that you just need to get rid of that are just kind of creating more clutter. Maybe you'll discover that there are things that you can actually uh, do later or, the, or that you can organize with tools that are out there for us, with processes that you can create, find clarity, help you take control and help you create boundaries, find the tools and get the processes that you need in order to take control of your art career and your art studio once and for all. So my friends, have a great rest of your day. If you enjoyed this episode, please share it with your friends and I will see you 